Harvey Weinstein is a big fat creep, but Jabba the Hutt has been free to destroy lives and bugger starlets because he wins Oscars and pimps Democratic candidates. We've seen our share of waning titans here at Fox as the left has gleefully cheered the demise of Bill O'Reilly and the death of Roger Ailes, all while admitting in disgusted, hushed tones that people like Weinstein have been serially harassing women for decades. Meryl Streep, who once described Hurricane Harvey as God, had to clarify her religion, saying in a statement, I did not know about his financial settlements with actresses and colleagues. I did not know about his having meetings in his hotel room, his bathroom, or other inappropriate coercive acts. And if everybody knew, I don't believe that all the investigative reporters in the entertainment and the hard news media would have neglected for decades to write about it. Oh, put a sock in it, Meryl. Hollywood is a urinal cake soaked in gossip. That's all anyone does there. Everybody knew. But Weinstein's relationships with studio heads, A-list actors, the Clintons, the Obamas, that all acted as a shield that protected him from embarrassing lawsuits from the very vulnerable young women the left claimed to champion. Before his company fired him, Harvey released his own statement saying, I've brought on therapists and I plan to take a leave of absence from my company. I so respect all women and regret what happened. Oh, Harvey, we all hate Hillary's book. And she sure has been oddly silent, probably because she's so used to surrounding herself with people like Bill Clinton and Anthony Weiner. What's one more for the slime pile? Hollywood suffers from gross subjectivism. Something's bad if they don't like it. Something is good if it directly benefits them. Harvey Weinstein provided so many benefits, it was easy to turn a blind eye to his objectively horrific actions. How inconvenient the left is now forced to eat itself. An act Harvey probably would like to watch during one of his disgusting massages.